I mean, you came out doing our match. Welcome to another exciting episode of Gen Next TV. And it was supposed to be a scheduled tag team match between Outlast and CM Squared. And this has been brewing for a couple of weeks. But the Native Sons have come out to take a, uh, I guess we'll call it a closer look at the action here tonight. And what a big night of competition we have for you this week here on Gen Next TV. It is jam-packed, lots of implications, ramifications for an upcoming return to Cynthia, Kentucky on, August, on October the 2nd, as well as our upcoming free big time event here on Gen Next TV and that event will of course be entitled Unmatched and tonight we're going to have a number one contenders match to determine who will take on Victor Vargas for the Gen Next Pro Heavyweight title next month at Unmatched that main event will come to you tonight and it's going to be three men who, again, have been trying to fight their way up the ranks and get that one-on-one -on -one match with Victor Vargas. And those three men are going to be the Zodiac, Drew Dillinger, and Brawler Morrison. One of those men is going to get the one-on-one -on -one match that they desire at Gen Next Pro's Unmatched, like which, that, again, man. will be Just absolutely like right free. Here. Here on Gen Next TV, that's coming to you in the month of September. And then in the month of October, Generation X Pro Wrestling will return to Cynthia, Kentucky for Desire. In what should be quite an interesting event as well. For those of you who have attended our past live events, you know that anything can happen. And we urge you to join us. October the 2nd in Cynthia, Kentucky. And as you see, these tag teams, Outlast has wanted another shot at CM Squared ever since the TLC match where the uh, where Franklin Bernard got involved. And for those of you who do not know, it is very, very clear that Franklin Bernard is Tommy Benjamin who has clearly been on a revenge tour since he came back here to Gen X Pro. He took out, they took out Nasty Nate Gnarly. They have focused on the Native Sons. They've had some issues without last. And all these things have been building week after week after week. And we'll see how that, all of this transpires in the coming weeks. But this week, it's CM Squared taking on Outlast. You see Franklin Bernards at ringside. The Native Sons are out at ringside as well. Kind of uh, observing the action, so to speak. And right now, Outlast has the advantage... But not for long. There comes Gaston LaRue from behind. And Karen Saturn has Kellen Craven. And what's he going to do with him? Buckle bomb right in the corner. There comes Gaston LaRue. And now, just like that, CM Squared is fully in control. Take it over on Kellen Craven. Keep in mind, folks, if you like all the action that you're seeing, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Generation Next Pro Wrestling. Like, follow us on Twitter as well, at GNextPro. And then join us on Patreon, 
patreon.com backslash GNPW. And that's how you'll keep up with all the news and exciting action of Generation Next Pro Wrestling. And you see CM Squared trying to keep the ring cut off. We've seen in past couple of weeks, they are experts at keeping that ring cut off, about keeping their opponents away from, from each other, about getting a man in the ring, wearing him down, and keeping him away from his partner. Those tag team tactics have been something that seems quite have shown that they specialize in. They're doing that again here, trying to keep Kellen Craven far away from Jacob Torrance. And again, we have plenty of exciting events coming up for you, ladies and gentlemen. October the 2nd, we return to Cynthia, Kentucky with Desire. And as you heard earlier, Next month here on Gen Next TV, we bring to you a pay-per-view quality free event as it's going to be called Unmatched. And that big event will take place in the month of September right here on Gen Next TV. And tonight we are going to find out who the number one contender will be to face Victor Vargas at Unmatched in September here on Gen Next TV. Our main event is going to be a triple threat match with Zodiac, Drew Dillinger, and Brawler Morrison battling out to see who will be the man to finally get their one-on-one -on -one match with Victor Vargas. Speaking of Victor Vargas, I can confirm that next week, right here on Gen Next TV, the Gen Next champion Victor Vargas will be here in action next week on Gen Next TV. So be sure to join us for that. And Gaston LaRue kind of using some nefarious means to keep Jacob Torrance away on the outside. And once again, Kelly Craven getting that ring cut off, not able to get to Jacob Torrance right at the moment. CM Squared have shown that they will do whatever it takes to get the win, to keep moving up the ranks here at Gen Next Pro Wrestling. Jacob Torrance is still down on the outside. Kellen Craven is struggling. Absolutely struggling. Oh, here comes Franklin Bernard, a.k.a. Tommy Benjamin, choking Kellen Craven on the ropes. Ref didn't see it. He was back there with Cameron Saturn and Gaston LaRue. And Franklin Bernard, Tommy Benjamin, whatever you want to call him, took full advantage of that situation. Kellen trying to fight here. But Gaston LaRue suplexing him up and over. And smartly doing that back towards his own corner towards CM Squared's corner. Kellen Craven getting double teamed. He leads out of there in the worst possible way. But that reprieve doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. As CM Squared is well on their way. Working over Kellen Craven. He did a little bit jaw jacking with Jacob Torrance. Cameron Saturn now taunting him a little bit, but he's, you better keep in mind, keep an eye on Kellen. You don't want to turn your back on your opponent like that. Yeah, you're in control now, but that can change in a second if you don't focus on what you're doing. Oh, Kellen ducking that double clothesline attempt, and oh, what an innovative kind of move that was, driving CM squared into each other. Could that be the break he needs? And yes, finally here comes Jacob Torrance. Beautiful double cross body. Jacob Torrance obviously much fresher of the two. 
got to get one of the CM Square guys out of there, but right now it's not mattering as Jacob Torrance is on a roll. Oh, but he got caught. He got caught on the ropes right there. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, elevated DDT got planted right in the canvas. Karen Saturn saying that's it, and it could be. But not enough. Now Jacob Torrance is in trouble. And you've seen on a couple of occasions where it seems like CM Squared is in trouble and they managed to turn things around and get the momentum back on their side. But Now Jacob gets back to his partner. And now we got all four guys in there. But now CM Squared sent to the outside thanks to a nice double T move by Outlast. And don't forget you still got the Native Sons on the outside. Kind of talking to CM Squared a little bit. What's, what's going on here? Now there's some pushing and shoving, but nobody's paying attention. And there comes Jacob Torts diving over the ropes. And he just took out everybody. Referee in the ring, somebody's got to get back in the ring. Wait a minute. Native Sons, now they've got problems going on without that. They don't like that they got taken out. I think they're taking some uh, offense to being taken out during that dive. Oh! And CM Squared shoving the Native Sons and Outlast into each other. It's definitely taking advantage of that situation. Beautiful double team combination. And that's it. CM Squared, thanks to all the confusion on the outside, getting a big, big win here on Gen Next TV. We'll be back with more action. Without getting tied down, you're in control of Rena Center with no long-term commitment and no credit needed. Right now, get an Ashley Sofa Chase or an LG 65-inch Smart TV. Your choice, just $19.99 a week at RenaCenter.com. Come on, baby, Mr. Genex TV here. Turn off the music. Two weeks ago at Acceleration, it was supposed to be. Derek James versus Big Mama, one-on-one, -on -one, in a good housekeeping match. But that didn't quite happen. It took not one, but two people to put me down. So in my eyes, I'm still undefeated. And that's exactly why I'm here for the Derek James Open Challenge. I came here for some real competition. I want someone that's been on the big leagues. I want someone that's been on TV. I want someone to step up to me and show me what they got because I am the best that Gen X has to offer. Who the hell are you? I'm Gary Gandy. And I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Aren't you that dude that got beat by Kevin Owens 
on SmackDown. Weren't you that dude that lost the big mob? <laughs> And here we go, the Derek James Open Challenge. And it's Derek James saying he wanted to face somebody who had been on TV. And here comes Gary Gandy, who had a, uh, I guess a cup of coffee, you could call it, on SmackDown in a match with Kevin Owens. So Derek James saying he wanted more competition. He's upset that he lost to Big Mama. In that good housekeeping match at Acceleration, still claims to be undefeated, despite losing that match. But because in his mind it took two people, Paige Jones and Big Mama, to defeat him, that it doesn't count, so to speak. So we'll see what it's going to take here against Gary Gandy, who, as he said, is from Louisville, Kentucky. He did have a cup of coffee in a match where he got destroyed, basically, by Kevin Owens. So, technically speaking, he has been on TV. Uh, although, maybe not what, you're called, what you would consider a, a TV star, he has had a match on television in front of a national televised audience. But we'll see how he matches up tonight against Derek James who again has not been uh, in the best of moods ever since losing the Big Mama at Acceleration. But right now, Derek James is fully in control of Gary Ginn. Oh, what a nice submission move that is. Derek Jones is punishing the legs. Of Gary, of Gary Gandy, easy for me to say. Derek James has been in full control ever since jump starting it. With a cheap shot on Gary, and ever since then, Derek, and this has been all Derek James here in this open challenge. Again, make sure to like us on Facebook, Generation Next Pro Wrestling at GMAX Pro, follow us on Twitter, as well as join our Patreon, patreon.com backslash GNPW. Now Gary Gandy trying to change the momentum. Oh, he hurt his leg. And Derek, Derek James taking full advantage of that. We know Derek will take any opportunity he can get. He just wasn't very happy that... Uh, he got beat by Big Mama a couple weeks ago, and now he's trying to take it out on Gary Gandy. And a nice half crab. And again, this has been all Derek James from the opening bell. Just been tortured. Gary, oh, but Gary showing some fight. Definitely favoring that leg. And Derek James doing his best to maintain his control. He got pushed off. Oh! Pop up power bomb out of Kevin Owens' playbook. Not enough. Well, that definitely was very Kevin Owens esque. Oh, and he missed with the running Centon. There. Oh, he couldn't connect there. Now what's going on? Where's Gary Gandy going? Looks like he's going up top. Big high-risk maneuver here. Oh, what a frog splash. And that's it. What a big, big win. Gary Gandy, some might call it an upset, beating Derek James 
here at Gen X Pro Wrestling, and we'll be back with much, much more. Tonight, tonight, the gates of the 36th Chamber of Parts Unknown get kicked open through Dillinger, Brawler Morrison. Tonight, Triple Threat, the winner, winner, gets a shot one-on-one -on -one with Victor Vargas. Victor Vargas, tonight there will be two shots, one with his fist and a title shot. For the last 20 years, I've dedicated my life to professional wrestling to get where I am today. For the last five, I have shaped and molded professional wrestlers all over the country. And that is exactly what I'm doing in Sydney, Kentucky at Legends Pro Wrestling Academy 101 Hingston. What took me 20 years to achieve has become my goal to make a fraction of the time for your success. Email me now, Legends Pro Wrestling Academy at gmail.com. Send that message, make that dream a reality. Let's knock out the wrestling business together today. Triple threat, my shot, my title. And we're back with more Jinnex Pro action. And this time we see Flash Thompson, who is uh, kind of, trying to kind of break out on his own a little bit. And he's taking on the always dangerous Freddie Hudson. And this ought to be quite an interesting battle here. Between two guys who want to do their best to get up the ranks. and make their mark here in Gen X Pro Wrestling. And as I mentioned a moment ago, Flash is kind of distancing himself from the homies, kind of trying to be on his own, be his own man, some, so to speak. So we shall see how that works against Freddie Hudson here as we are well on our way to October the 2nd, Cynthia, in Kentucky. Generation X Pro Wrestling will proudly bring to you Desire. October 2nd, Cynthia, in Kentucky, our next live event. But also, don't forget, in the month of September, it's going to be right here on Gen X TV. It's a pay-per-view quality event. Absolutely free. Right here, Gen X TV. That's going to take place in the month of September. We will find out tonight who Victor Vargas will be defending the Gen X Pro Heavyweight title against on that night. 
Is it going to be Brawler Morrison? Is it going to be Zodiac? Or is it going to be Drew Dillinger? We'll find out in tonight's main event coming up just here in a little bit. It'll be a triple threat match to determine the number one contender for Victor Vargas at Unmatched. And Flash taking control, dictating the pace, trying to prove his worth, prove that he can uh, he can fly solo, that he doesn't need any help, and trying to do everything he can to take down Freddie Hudson here and get a big, big win and establish himself and prove to himself that he doesn't need help. He can do it all on his own. Now that's somewhere you definitely don't want to be against flashes in the corner, but Freddie firing back. Oh, and just raking that arm right across the eyes of Freddie Hudson. Just when it looked like Freddie might be getting a little bit of momentum, Flash cut him off immediately and drew a boot right into his face. But Freddie showing that toughness, showing that fighting spirit. And Flash may be getting a little flustered, a little frustrated here. Hasn't been able to put away Freddie yet. But definitely looking for that... Uh, for that knockout blow, so to speak. But right now, he's kind of wearing him down. Once again, if you like all the action that you're seeing here at Generation X Pro Wrestling, be sure it's good. to like us on Facebook, Generation X Pro Wrestling. Follow us on Twitter, at GNXPro, and join our Patreon, patreon.com backslash GNPW. Freddie almost got a pin with that crucifix and Flash was kind of charged in. Now he got caught. Go for a backslide. Not quite enough though. Beautiful Insiguri kick by Flash though right to the side of the head. Flash was showing off a little bit before he went for the cover, and that could have cost him. Gave Freddie a couple extra seconds to get his get his wits about him. But now Flash kind of sizing it up, seeing what he's going to do next. Nice kick to the back there. And Flash seems like he's definitely enjoying himself here, taking his time. He's getting a little frustrated, I think, but he's still in firm control at the moment. And once again, he's got Freddy back in that corner. Yet another place you don't want to be against Flash. And he's choking him, ref, right there. And now Flash jaw jacking with the ref a little bit. Probably needs to be more focused on Freddy. Freddy is a very, very dangerous opponent. You don't want to give him any time to get his wind. And a nasty chop. Once again, Flash showing off. Could that cost him? Because Freddy is firing back. Come on. You know where the power lies. <laughs> but now he's driven back down to the mat and Flash again with the confidence. That's one thing Flash Thompson does not lack is that confidence. Definitely showing it here tonight against Freddie Hudson. We'll see if it backfires or if it pays off for him. Right now it hasn't cost him. But you definitely don't want to give Freddy time to just kind of hang around and catch his breath. Oh, and just like that. A nice clothesline. Maybe Flash is paying for taking too much time. We'll see. 
Freddy can kind of get back into this, get his wits about him, get some momentum going. And now Freddy's starting to pick up the pace, getting on the roll a little bit, throwing some punches. And a beautiful short arm clothesline. And now Flash is in trouble. Oh! And he just drove his hands into the throat. But Freddy showing that fight, that perseverance, ability to persevere. You can pound on Freddy, you can punish him, and he just keeps coming back for more. As you see right now. Big splash. And Freddy has Flash reeling now. And that could be it. Not quite Flash, barely. And I do mean barely getting that shoulder up. Freddy might be wondering what he needs to do to put the finishing touches on Flash here. Just firing some punches. Flash is back in. What's he got? Oh! What a clothesline. Not enough, though. Flash nailed him with that clothesline. And now you can definitely see that doubt creep in. And Flash can't believe it. He was sure that was enough. He was sure that was the end. It was Flash doing? He's got that. He got that chain. But the ref's right there. Tell Flash you can't use it. And this is giving time, Fre Freddie, time to recover here. Flash and the referee arguing. Oh, there's the ref right there. He's got it rolled up. Handful of tights. And that's it. Flash Thompson steals one. Using a handful of tights to get the win. We'll be back with our main event on Gindex TV. You know, Native Sons want to rematch with us. Outlast want to rematch with us. Everyone in the world is screaming for a rematch with oh, CM yeah. Square. They want to get the ring with oh, CM yeah. Square. They're calling Franklin. They're calling Franklin. They're saying, hey, we want a match with CM Square. Well, you know what? We're putting them all in the ground. <laughs> so I have a good idea. If Outlast and Native Sons want a match with us so bad, oh, yeah. why don't they just wrestle each other and how about the winner can face us? Oh, that's a great idea! I love it! I love it! I think that idea is pretty, uh, by the book. We are back. It is main event time. The stake could not be any higher. Brawler Morrison, Zodiac, and Drew Dillinger 
fighting for the right to take on Victor Vargas for the Gen Next Pro Heavyweight title. That match will take place at Unmatched next month here on Gen Next Media. That's right, next month it is a free, absolutely free, pay-per-view quality event. Unmatched next month here on Gen Next TV where Victor Vargas will defend the Gen Next Pro Heavyweight title against one of these three men. And also I want to touch on it real quickly. I have been notified and has been made official next week on Gen Next TV. It will be Outlast, Kelly Craven and Jacob Torrance taking on Kim and DC, the Native Sons. And the winner of that match will get their opportunity to once again take on Gaston LaRue and Cameron Saturn, CM Squared. So high, high stakes next week in our tag team division here on Gen Next TV. But speaking of high stakes, one of these men is going to get a shot at the richest prize in Gen Next Wrestling, the Gen Next Pro Heavyweight title currently held by Victor Vargas. One of these guys is going to get that chance, that one-on-one -on -one match. They've all been clamoring for it. They've all been wanting it. They've all been campaigning, saying reasons why they should get it. Well, now one of them has a chance to earn it here tonight in this colossal triple threat match. Remember, first pinfall, first submission wins this match and will become the number one contender. We got Drew Dillinger still out on the outside. Roland Morrison kind of taking control here on Zodiac. Oh, what a spinning kick. Take it up, ball. Could that be it? Not quite enough. Wait, Roland Morrison got level with that spinning kick. And now it's just Drew and Zodiac at the moment. That's definitely something that a lot of guys try to do strategy-wise in triple threat matches is eliminate one of their opponents, get them out of the way to where they can't break up a pinfall and it's just one-on-one. -on -one. And Brawler Morrison is definitely down on the outside while Drew Dillinger and Zodiac go at it on the inside of the ring. Again, all three of these guys staking their claim. They want that title shot. They want their shot at Victor Vargas next month at Unmatched. Beautiful headbutt. Oh, he went for that kick again, but Zodiac was paying attention. And now it's Centon. And Brawler Morrison in to break up that pin. That could have been it. Brawler Morrison saving his opportunity by breaking up that pinfall. Again, it's first pin, first submission in a matchup like this. And which one of these guys will get their one-on-one -on -one match with Victor Vargas next month at Unmatched? Again, that is a free, absolutely free pay-per-view quality show right here on Jindex TV next month. We'll have more details on that in the next, com in the next coming weeks. But right now we need the number one contender as all three guys trade some shots, all three guys on their feet. What's it going to take here to, to for somebody to get a win? Oh. And so he had heart punch. But here comes Brody Morrison from behind. He can't quite get Zoe lifted though. Another heart punch. But Zodiac turned his attention to Brawl and Morrison. Here comes Drew Dillinger. Spear, could that be it? Could that be it? One. Two, it's over, and we have a number one contender. It's going to be Drew Dillinger 
and we'll join, we'll see you next week on Gen X TV. Victor Vargas in action next week.